Okay, there's something called the secret and law of attraction, which I find to be at least mildly satanic, where you can manifest things if you want it bad enough. The way I see that is it puts you in a position where you have to degrade yourself or do evil things to get whatever you want. Okay, the reality of the law of attraction is pretty simple. It's show what you want, how you can serve. For example, I see a lot of people saying, I want a wife to give me children. That's a terrible move. Okay, and you see it all the time. If people want something bad enough and they convince themselves they're entitled to it, that they demand it, that they have to get it, um, they will get it, but it's the Faustian deal. Now, if you want a healthy law of attraction, you can show a woman that you want to be a husband and a father. You see the difference? Where you live the life that you're already in a position of service. This is the life I can provide for you. This is the life I can provide for our children. And you're already working at it. And then that attracts someone to you that also wants that. And there's tons of them. I'll give you an example of my success in Hollywood. And you can apply this to any job. When I wanted to be a stand-up comedian, I did not sit around thinking that I wanted it so bad I would do anything. That, that is how you end up with the casting couch or the gay acts. What I did is I would just sit at the back of the improv every night when I was 22 years old. And if someone didn't show up, I would do a set for free. It was always free. I would just do a set. And I was very good at stand-up. Well, compared to you know, a lot of the other open micers, but I never asked for a penny. And I would do that every night. Every night I would sit there and say, what can I do for you? If the club was in a position where someone didn't show up, where one of these celebrities had too much hubris or entitlement, I was there to serve. And I asked nothing in return, I only gave. Now, what does that do? That starts the cycle where then the club wants to give to you because you're serving. Okay, it's no different for anything. This is, okay, uh, when you're selling real estate, what do you do? You stage the, the house. That means you put in furniture to show the buyer what their life could be like. What can this space offer you? It's not, I need you to buy this house. It's, I wanna to present to you a possible future for you. And the more they can visualize that, the better. And this is what I do with everything now. The only time I get in a dark space ever is when I feel I'm owed more. It's a, it's a bad position to be in. That's the satanic law of attraction. Where when you say, I deserve more, I'm entitled to more. People need to be nicer to me and better to me because I'm great. That's actually not strong. It's how much can you serve? And that's why the, the I'm gonna get women to serve me and cook me breakfast and give me children, that doesn't actually work, it implodes. When you say, I will provide and protect and be a father to as many children as this woman could give to me, you know, that's when you see real wealth develop. And I've seen it over and over and over again. And so that's just a mindset to, to change because I see, you know, the, the, um, I'm trying to just give positive advice versus attack the poison. And so a woman's the same way. I like, if a woman wants to attract the best guy, it's how can I serve him? How can I cook and clean and help his job and give him beautiful, healthy children and all that. It's, it's the same for women. It's not like women are God. You know, if a woman wants a good man, she would think, how can I serve the man? If a man wants a good woman, he thinks, how can I be a great husband and father to our children?